Hi everyone, um, today I wanted to show you how um, I managed to remove the panel of my rear door on this uh, VW Passat. Um, the reason I had to remove it is because I couldn't open the door from outside or from inside so I, I need to repair the mechanism or I need to buy a new um, locking mechanism. So all the others doors are working with the central locking um, and are opening quite well working properly uh, but this door here um, what is uh, rear driver side um, it's not working and I can't open it from inside uh, or outside I can't unlock it so I had to remove the panel and to do that what I did basically is firstly I removed the bottom um, torx bit now there is if you look on the other door there is a torx bit which you can just about Access with um, um, your torx bit and just about remove that screw so you can do it um, using one of these. This is quite thin, and you got the um, your little ratchet in the end. Um, and I accessed. I accessed it just from here as such like this just about went in and I was able to remove it um, the next step was to remove this cover here the handle and if you get a screwdriver and place it in here if you place it in in there then you'll be able to pop this out it's a little bit hard but eventually it will pop out um, it's holding on with this clips here there's three of them and as you can see in my case one of them stayed in the door Nevertheless, um, it popped out and you have to remove two screws, which uh, one will be in there and the other one will be here. They're just uh, normal screws. Phillips screwdriver and you remove them too. Um, after you've done that, basically what I did is I wedged a screwdriver I went outside the car and wedged a screwdriver on this end and pulled this up pulled it up pulled it up and then with a longer screwdriver I managed to pop one this side off and then the whole thing popped out So basically, basically what I did is, as you can see the edge here, I got a screwdriver in there, lifted it up and got it open. Got it open and managed to get a um, screwdriver in there and pop that clip, that plastic clip. As that one popped off then all the others came off and then I was able to get the door pop off from the bottom from those clips and then this side and then you lift it up and this way it comes out and then you need to disconnect the electric window switch and the tweeter 
and you will have to disconnect a door handle cable here which just turns and unhooks from here and looks for that quite a simple and this um, you just press press here and it comes out or well, these ones you just press on the sides like so and they come out and you have one more uh, cable which is um, the door light there's a light at the bottom and you just have to get it out and then the whole panel will come out but um, to give myself some room um, I removed the seat so I got the seat here and basically to remove the seat uh, you just uh, As it's on the car, you grab it from one end and you pull it up, pull it up and then it will loosen off and you're done. The seat will come out. Um, now I need to remove this panel. Which is... Um, this metal panel seems to be holding on by 10 mil bolts and then uh, I'm gonna try to unlock the door Okay, once the 10 mil bolts are out, this panel, uh, you will need to just uh, wedge it open a little bit. As it's a but little also, bit stuck, the window is attached to this panel um, via these rivets. Because you have your electric motor there. Um, so what we need to do, so as you pull the, this cover, you will see that the window is attached to the mechanism here, which is why it will be a bit difficult to pull it. Um, now, to release the uh, window from the mechanism, we're going to remove this. Um, rubber here, which you can just um, put a screwdriver in it in, on the side and, uh, and try to get it off. Uh, it's got a little cup that you could open. Don't have to remove the whole thing, but um, but I did anyway. From here we can see the attachment to the window. Okay, hi everyone. Um, basically, um, after I've taken this panel off, um, by removing the screws, the 10 mil bolts that were holding it, um, we had to um, unlock this door, which was on deadlock. And the way I did it is basically I pulled this um, string here. I pulled it with a screwdriver to make it easier for me and as I pulled it as I pulled it this way as if I was opening the door um, I grabbed the key 
with one hand. So I was holding the screw screwdriver, pulling the um, this thing, and uh, pressing the unlock key, pressing on the unlock key, and at the same time I was heating. As you can see, I was heating the um, actuator with a hammer. Um, this is the hammer I use, and I was hitting it here, like so. And at the same time, pressing the um, open button, as I mentioned, pulling this string here. Uh, I could hear the motor making a little noise, um, but I had to carry on hitting it and hitting it and unlocking, unlocking until it actually unlocked. And then there was a louder noise which um, unlocked um, the door. Um, and from there I was able to basically unlock the door as you can see. Um, I can now <laughs> remove the uh, actuator and replace it um, so I'll be doing that. Um, by the way the um, electric window plug is connected to the actuator they are interlinked um, connected together so um, they need to be while you're unlocking the door um, and, and so on you need to have the, this plugged into the motor which is why I didn't remove it all the way it's still here um, 